Hello, my lovely Floss Tube friends. How the hell are we? How is everybody? Oh. Okay, let's see if I've got everything set up the right way today. Which would be nice, wouldn't it? Can everybody hear me? Okay. Let's have a look. Who have we got? Wow, wow, wow. Look at you all. Hi, Rosa. Welcome to the stream. We've got Natalie. We've got Sonia. We've got Melissa. Candy. Mad Multi. Hello, my lovely. Oh. Twinkle Stitch. Like that one. Hi, Twinkle Stitch in Hole. Welcome to the stream. Who have we got? Eliana. Hi, happy to be here again with you. Cheating and stitching on my hard hanger and cross stitch project tonight. Hi, Joyce. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so we can all hear me loud and clear. Now, I've got to be honest. I need to, I need to pop the chat out because it's in the wrong place and I can't see it. For love nor money. So let me pop that out and see whether that helps. That helps me see. Let's see if I can move it. Hold up. Let's, let's get this. Let's get this all set up, shall we? Okay, who have we got? Who have we got? So many of you. Loud and clear. Hello in Australia. Welcome to the stream. Excited to see you. I'm excited, Jennifer. I'm super excited. I'm excited to be here. I'm happy to be here this evening. Let me move this over here because it's bigger. Hold up. We're just, we're just, we're just adjusting, people. You know how I love to adjust things. Okay, so let me just push that down to the bottom. Hello, fellow Hull. Oh, we've got we've got a couple of people in Hull in the UK. Better get stitching. Hi, Teresa from Snow Snowy from Snowy Ohio. Oh, you've got snow. Oh, oh, rather you than me. Luckily, luckily, fingers crossed. We've we've been really quite lucky. Let me shuffle across. I've just realised I'm sort of. I'm offset. Do you know what? My camera keeps moving. I'm <laughs> you know when you have one of those days where it's just like everything's, everything's just been all over the place today. I had all these great plans and great intentions. And yeah, yeah, it didn't go very well. So excited. My fabric came yesterday. So I'm starting Cinderella Mirabilia today. Yay! We love a new start, don't we? Hello in Ohio. In Oregon. Hi, Lisa. Welcome to the stream. Hey, Karen, my lovely. Just waking up here in Australia as it's 5 a.m. and not stitching yet. Oh, no, no. Cup of tea, I think. Cup of tea. Hi, Pemberley. Pemberley, hello. Stitching my lavender and lace autumn cooking dinner for, from London. Lovely. Lovely. I'm not cooking any dinner, as you can gather. <laughs> Definitely not cooking dinner this evening. I'm working on some binding for several quilts. I finished a cute lady claws stitch. Fabulous, Judy. Lucia, no snow in the UK, in the south of the south of Netherlands, and we had lots of snow. Oh God, no. Snow here in Nova Scotia. Wow, a lot of you have got snow. It's finally snowing in Essie, Michigan. Jackie started her Greta Goldberg today. Fabulous. Hi, Teresa from Virginia. Hello there. Welcome to the stream. Hello in Canada. Never actually chatted with you, but I have watched for years. Fabulous. I'm lovely, lovely to know you then, Frankie, and welcome to the stream. We've got Debbie just finished my 2022 temperature chart. High and low temperatures. Still working on finishing up some 2022 quilts. And the chat just disappeared off the screen. Hi, Emma. We're doing good. We're, good. We're doing good today. Cross Stitch Mad Sarah. Working on my... Kazarina, Kazarina Dragon Sal. Getting a few stitches in before night shift. Oh, that's harsh. Night shift on a Sunday. Hey Charlotte, my lovely. Have you had a good day, my love? I hope it's been a little less um yeah, challenging as mine has been. I've had a very challenging day today. 
But then, hey, it would it it wouldn't be my life if it had just gone swimmingly. What I should have done is just got up this morning, maybe tinkered around, and then sat down and stitched. But I've barely done any stitching, people. I feel terrible. I feel like, you know, it's just a oh, because there's all these other things that need to happen, and I'm just not getting to my stitching. So I'm not in my happy place. Joyce says, CXC package being delayed due to Royal Mail debacle. Yes, the Royal Mail is a bit of an issue. Hello in South Carolina. Oh, right, you're going to have to excuse people because I'll be honest with you. I had a really late night last night and then got up really early this morning. And then, although I don't feel like I've actually achieved much today, um, I needed to go and have a nap. So between four and five, I went and had a nap and then was just on this mad mad mission for the past hour to be able to get here on time for my early six o'clock <laughs> we have enough snow in norway to share with you no no sharing of snow um i don't want the snow hey and my love oh and baxter you how you are breaking my heart with those little knitted frogs that you keep putting on instagram if anyone hasn't checked her out um oh i'm trying to remember what her channel name is and remind me what your Instagram, what your Instagram thing is. Because she's done these these little frogs. And they've got little boots on and everything. It's just, you, we, just need to, we just need a duck now. Not with that, not with the boots on, obviously, but, but just a duck. We need knitted ducks next. Hi, I started my birthday new start yesterday by Carolyn Manning. Fabulous. Happy birthday, Angie. Can we get some happy birthdays in, in the chat for Angie? Louise, just started my first haid after watching your series of videos. <gasps> oh, is it? So it's your first full coverage, is it? Hi, Cynthia, my lovely. Welcome to the stream. Andy says we still have snow in Stoke on Trent. I know that sort of the west and the north got a lot of snow. I say a lot of snow. Um, it wasn't a lot of snow, but you got snow. <laughs> okay, so Anne Baxter. Anne Baxter on Instagram is called Stitchy Mouse. Okay, and she does lots and lots of knitting. Lots of knitting. In fact, she does so much knitting. She's done me some knitting because she's gorgeous. And and she she posted up these little frogs where she's knitted these frogs. They oh, I was just oh look at the little frog. Although I don't I don't want a frog here today. We we will be having none of that. None of that. No, no frogs in the house today, please. Because that would just top my day. It would really top my day. Right, can I just double check, people? The music that's running in the background, is it low enough? Because I've tried to listen. See, I've even got earphones now. I can hear it slightly, so can you hear it? I love the fact that you all give him birthday happy birthdays. You lovely, lovely lot. Knitting frogs, where please? Michaela, go on to Stitch, is it Stitchy, Stitchy Mouse on Instagram. It's Anne Baxter. She's in the chat. And yeah, she makes the most wonderful knitted frogs. Music is lovely. Can't hear it. Music is lovely. The music is fine. Sounds good on this end. Music is fine. Perfect. Perfect. I do believe we have it in order, people. I do love it when that happens. <laughs> hey, Kerry, my love, how are you? I've got a squirrel in the house today. Haven't worked on Magwan since New Year. Yeah, I, I've been atrocious. Hi, Teresa, I've just made it and music is fine and I can't even, I can't even hear it. Can barely hear the music. Okay, I'm going to switch the music up just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. Hold up. There we go. Can we can we hear it now? Or is that too loud? You need to tell me these things, people. Now, I've got to be honest, right? I thought I was all geared up and all ready to go. And literally, just before I hit the live button, because I've already sort of started a bit of stitching, so I've done the first leg of a load of stitches in the hope that it might make the whole chat stitching and looking all easy. And now I can't find the thread that I did it with. Hello, Angela. Welcome to the stream. I'm sorry to hear it's a chilly Royston Hearts. Oh, too loud. Too loud. Okay. 
I do love it when you give me so much good feedback, people. There. Right, I've turned it down. That should be fine. Too loud. <laughs> Music is perfect first time, able to hear it, and it's perfect behind your voice. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, well, I've turned it down, so that should be enough. If it starts to blast your ears out, please let me know, and I will do what I can to get it switched down for you. So, people, what to tell you? What to tell you? Other than the fact that I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do now, because the, the thread that I, that I needed... She says, um, which way around is this? Oh, that's it. No, don't you just love it? I I'm like one of those people, you know, like when you give someone a map and then they they they're forever turning the map around because they can't work out the orientation. That's me at the moment with this little chart because I've got like a the chart printed on like a bit of paper just on the stitching so that I can see it. Oh, there is music the first time for me, funny. Hey, Mary, how you doing, sweetheart? I know. So for Mary's just gone and checked out the frogs. They are, the frog's adorable. He's absolutely adorable. Right, now let me just double check because, right, so I need the one that looks like a spaceship. So how many of you are working on Magway and this evening with me? And how many of you are working on other things? 336. I'm pretty sure we've got a 336 in my... Yes, we have 336. So we, we, we can crack on with 336. Emma says, hi, Teresa. How have you been? Oh, my love, my love. I, I've been fine. Super busy. In fact, too busy for my liking, especially like with work. But, yeah. First world problems, right? Because if, if work's my only my work's my only problem at the moment, there's just too much of it. I've been doing loads and loads of hours, and then coming home and thinking the last thing I want to do is pick up anything. Okay, Karen says nope to Magway and working on my next floss tube tutorial. Oh my love, well, that makes me feel better because I don't I don't feel so left out now. Magwayan, but I feel down. I fell down the the duck rabbit hole. Oh Beth. There's nothing quite like a good duck, is there? I'm gutted my Magwayan pattern was lost in the post. Oh, no. Diane is working on Poppy by Nora Corbett. Lisa, I'm working on Magwayan. Uh, I'm stitching on Magwayan, only stitched on, a, the, on the weekends. Well, you've done more than me. I'm sure I had a needle a minute ago. You've done more than me. I'm, I'm yeah. I'm trying, people. <laughs> Do you ever get that? That it's just like, wow, this this isn't working so well. Kerry's working on a squirrel for a January squirrel sale. If anyone wants to join us stitching a squirrel, feel free. Oh, Kerry, what's this? What's this squirrel stitching then? What's I don't know anything about squirrel stitching. What sale is that? Does anyone else know about the squirrel stitching? Uh, Twinkle Stitch is working on Supernatural Sal. Emma's still working on my cottage. Angela. Oh, I asked the message to someone else. Just started my new... Yes. Oh, it's just disappeared. Full coverage Phantom of the Opera Jeep Girl. Lovely. Working on Mayari. So there's, there's loads of you working on lots of different stuff. I'm working on my kitted cavalier as fabric for the Hayde Fancy Cavalier has only just come and not had chance to put onto the scroll frames. Lovely. Working on Alice by Mirabilia. Sally, good morning from California. Working on Magwayan now. Gorgeousness. I'm working on my Snow Queen and loving it. Fabulous stuff. So, how many of you are actually stitching on, on like your sale project frequently? Or is it just like on the weekends? Do you only do it when we, when we go live? Or, or are you doing it just in general? Because I'm curious. I'm really curious. Right, I'm going to flip the camera down so you can see where I've got and you'll see what I mean. I've, I've, be <laughs> I've barely touched it. In fact, the only reason I've actually put any stitches in it 
is because I needed to have something in there to make this easier to do the live stream. So you're keeping me, you're keeping me, you're keeping me there, people. You're keeping me there. Here we go. There you go, look. See, I did do some. I'm only stitching right now. I have my in, but face, but working on face of a mermaid today. Any squirrel projects are welcome. January squirrel sale. Crafting Natalie. Oh, is that Natalia? Natalia, are you in my stream? From from the retreat, oh, the, the retreat Saturday. Is, the, is that the right person? Have I got the right person here? I've not touched mine. I'm stitching on mine every day, including now. June, you are a dedicated stitcher. Oh, Kerry says, I've messaged you a picture. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's have a look. She's messaged me a picture. Let's have a look at the... Okay, right. Oh, yeah, I see. <gasps> oh! Oh, so... Oh, dear. So, okay. So, when we're talking about the squirrels, is it is it only the cottage garden sampler squirrel that everyone's stitching for that sale? Or is it any squirrel you like? I'm stitching on Magwayan, Crinkles, and a sampler all through the week. Angela says... Hi, Teresa. I'm stitching Mirabilia T. Hi, Brenda. Welcome to the stream. Oh, so Kerry says it's any squirrel. Oh, you don't need to make it. Look, I don't need any more projects on the go. Certainly not any more squirrels. I don't know if anyone else needs a squirrel to stitch on. It can be any squirrel, but a few of us are stitching cottage garden sampling squirrel. Oh, I've not done any until today. Before that, I only had 200 stitches. <laughs> Fancy lady squirrel, so it's a combo. <laughs> but I also have another squirrel project from the Owl Forest. Oh, see, I don't think I've got any squirrels. I think I'm squirrel-less. I finished my haid last night, so I'm now focusing on my Sabrina by Mirabilia. Oh, Julie, you finished a haid last night. What one did you finish? I think we should have some claps in the chat for a finish. There's nothing like a good finish, is there? Stitching on Magwayan, saw a new Mirabilia Nightingale. Do I dare add a new project? Yes! Just do it. We live once. We live once. Make the most of it. Hi, Donna, my lovely. You'll be stitching every day. Good stuff. <laughs> Brenda says, aren't we having fun? <laughs> I love to have fun. Do you know what? It's really irritating me that I'm off to one side on, on the camera, but I'm, I'm not going to fiddle with it because it could turn into a whole hot mess. <laughs> fancy squirrels, fancy ducks, fancy dogs, fancy horses. We're getting a little loose with the term fancy. I don't think you can get loose with the term fancy. Right. Okay. I'm, I'm going to actually do a stitch now. I think we, we've, we've been live now for, what, 10 minutes? Possibly more, 20 minutes. And I'm just putting some stitches in. <laughs> That's it. Get the claps in the chat, people. Get the claps in the chat. Okay. Teresa is going to actually do some stitching. Now, let me just move this a little bit. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, let me fix that so it doesn't move. I have a bookmark with Minnie Mouse and a small project. Hello in Australia, welcome to the stream. Oh, I need to move it now because it's it's too down, it's too low. Oh. We'll be ducking in and out. It's 4.25 a.m. and getting getting the day started. Don't you worry about that. We have no problems with people ducking in and out. Ducking in and out is perfectly acceptable. Especially at that ungodly hour in the morning. It does, it does make me beg the question, though, as to why you would be up at that time in the morning on a Monday. Is it because you're going to work? Or I do hope it's not just so that you can join the stream. I mean, I'm an early bird. I, I will always get up at five o'clock in the morning. It's just, it's just a thing. It's like a given. Joyce says, just finished small stitch for Sis B. Hmm. Do love a good finish. I'm not getting any finishes. Although, saying that, when I've been going on the train 
into London, I've been working on my high heels collection and I'm very close to another shoe finish. Even at retreats, you're an early bird. Oh, yes, I am. But then I'm not exactly a night owl like most people at the retreats. There's a lot of people that stay up stitching to the wee hours in the morning. But because I get up so early in the morning, that doesn't work for me. Because, yeah. I'm not very good. I'm too old. I'm too old to be burning the candle at both ends now. No, have hubby and son getting ready for work. You know what men are like. Yes. They are far from the quietest, are they? Darren was the same. So Friday, Friday was my only day working from home last week. And he had to be in to work by, I think, seven. So if I had any intentions of having a lay in, he put pay to that. Totally put pay to that. Five in the morning is a lovely time to stitch with no interruptions. Karen, do you know what? I've never actually got up and just sat and stitched. I've always just got up and had so much to do. I really do need to try it though. I know a few people that do that. Night owls don't know how you're on, who you're on about. We're all well behaved. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, Charlotte. <laughs> We're at a retreat. We're never well behaved. I actually do set my alarm for interesting, for interesting lives. Lives for Needlebug. You're just an hour away, so never an issue. Oh. Age is better with wine. <laughs> I'm an early bird too, Teresa. I wake up early and usually get some stitches done before work. Oh, God, I wish. I wished I could do that. Karen says, that is me who has not gone to bed yet when you are getting up. I know. Do you know what? That's so bizarre. Whenever me and Karen on the odd occasion when I'm not working and I've not been a, I've not been in London, every now and then we'll go on a call and we'll have a little chat. My evening, well, my evening time, her afternoon time. Um, we haven't been able to do it recently because I've just been too busy. Um, but I get up in the morning and she's normally messaged me through the night. So then I answer her message first thing in the morning before I'm getting myself ready for work. And she answers me. And I'm like, why are you even awake? What are you doing? Are you mad? I think she is mad. Karen, I think you're officially mad. Do you ever sleep? Because, yeah, I message you in the morning and you answer me. And then I message you in my later part of the afternoon. And then you message me again. So I, I begin to wonder whether you ever actually go to sleep. Charlotte, my kids would wake up early just to annoy me. Unfortunately, that's that's the beauty of um of kids. They they do tend to like to be up early. To clarify though, my job is always from home. It is an early it is an easier commute than yours. True, true. I I do you know what? I I kick myself now that I didn't make good enough use of my time whilst I had all that time working from home. I I, I really do. I don't, I've done a four day week in London this week just gone and I've got another three. So yeah, let's just say last week was really hard, like really hard. I was like, how on earth did I ever manage to do this five days a week? I have no idea how I managed it. I did, but yeah. Harder than I'd like to uh, think. Maybe it's age. You know, you're sitting there thinking, is it because I took a break? from being in London and worked from home all that time? Or is it, is it that it's just that, yeah, I can't keep up with the pace anymore? The older I get, the less sleep I need. I'm on four hours, four hours a night? Oh no, oh no, I couldn't function on four hours a night. I'd be absolutely no good to anybody. That would just be a whole hot mess. I have enough trouble just getting my brain to engage when I want it to now. I mean, it would be much worse. Right, where are we at, people? The older you get, the less sleep you need. Karen, I... I well, I'd like to think then, if that's the case, that that when, I, when I'm no longer required to go into London and not have to work, maybe, maybe I'll get to, you know, just live on four hours sleep and do lots of stitching. Because I do, I do feel like I'm sort of 
I do feel like I, I'm not getting enough of what I want to get done. Lots of what everyone else wants me to get done and that I have to do. Kerry says, a friend of mine said the other day, one of our retreats that sounds like a big hen party with a bit of stitching to prevent, to pretend we are on a stitching retreat. <laughs> well, let's be honest. I mean, I've gone to stitching retreats and I'm lucky if I've stitched 20 stitches for a whole weekend. I've just spent my entire time socialising. So yeah, I can sort of see how that might appear that way. I don't think we're as rowdy as a hen party though, do you? I think we do, we are a little bit more contained. Well, sometimes, most of the time. Southern Stitcher, I still need eight hours to be a decent human. I'm right there with you. I would not even like to imagine what sort of human I would be on four hours of sleep. My boyfriend says sleeping is for the weak. Stitching is life. I wish it was for the week. If that's the case, then I must be the weakest person you know then. Anything less than seven hours and I'm, I'm, I'm toast. <laughs> Louisa says, I sleep at least nine hours a night and I was 70 yesterday. She knows how to sleep. That's how you do it, Karen. See, nine hours a night. That's what you need, sweetheart. Charlotte says, if that's the case, a couple more years of time, I will never have to sleep ever again. <laughs> <laughs> oh don't don't get me started on sleep i mean that's how bad it is i had to go for a cat nap today i was cat napping which is why i was a little bit bedraggled when i joined the stream because i was like oh if i would just got up like half an hour earlier i probably could have been a little bit more on top and sorted but yeah that wasn't gonna happen was it that would have been far too easy. David just brought me rum and coke. Should sleep well t later. <laughs> um, I've, I've actually got Darren on standby for the uh, obligatory Baileys. Although that is my only little treat. Because I have 28 days till I go on holiday. 28 days. And I'm like, I'm like I need to be bikini ready. So, yeah, I'm not going to say I do a crash diet because I don't do crash diets. In fact, I don't really diet at all, but I might need to be a little bit more careful. I have gone to the gym, though. So for the last two days, I went to the gym, did did some weight training. I mean, I'm not saying I've got to lose any weight. Don't don't, don't misinterpret what I'm, what I'm saying here. But let's just say, given that I've been sort of laid up for the last year, 18 months, it just needs a bit of toning to look good. Well, look acceptable. I'll accept that. No pink feathers. No pink feather boas at these retreats and streamers then. Silver? No. No, there's there's no there's no feather boas or, or streamers at, at the retreat. There's lots of onesies, pajamas, slippers, cozy, cozy wear. That was actually quite a funny story that went with the um, the stitching day that I went to last Saturday. We actually need the same number of hours of sleep as we age. There you go. It's official. <laughs> Susie says, can I have rum too, please? <laughs> Do you think he'd take it that far? I might think it might be a long way to go. It might be a bit spilt by the time it gets there. I knew it. You're away the week I'm in Essex. My multi, when are you coming to Essex? When are you coming, sweetie? In fact, why are you coming? Why are you in Essex? Are you sure you want to come here? Charlotte says dressing gowns. Yeah, we need to, we need to talk about stitch um retreat attire. Cuz that that there was there was quite a funny story that goes with our stitching day that we had. Finally here and and sitting down to stitch. Only just started my Bella Filipina maiden of you're not going to make me say it, are you? Cuz I can't say that word. Tabatahana. 
Where's Gina when I need her? Right. Here's a challenge for you. So for all of you that know about the the Bella Filipina Tava Tahana or whatever it is, I need someone to spell it out how you would say it so that I can actually say it the right way because every time I say it, it sounds wrong and it doesn't sound at all what Gina says it is. And G Gina knows. Gina knows these things. Lordy, if I'd, if I'd done a bikini and go to the beach... Greenpeace turn up and try to encourage me into the water. <gasps> oh, sweetheart. I don't believe that for one minute. I do not believe that for one minute. Not stitching yet today. Standing in a hardware store at the moment waiting for hubby. Oh, oh. I wouldn't do a hardware store on a Sunday. Certainly not with my hubby. We'd never get out of there. We'd be there forever. Ever and ever and ever. Right, let me hide my... Hide my thing under there. My dad won't... My dad... My dad won't be getting much sleep. He is undergoing chemo or radiotherapy for having prostate cancer. He has been told the side effects. That is starting on Tuesday. He's a stitcher too. Oh, Silver, I'm so, so sorry to hear about your dad. And it's... But it's good that he's getting his treatment. I think I think that the the chemo and radiotherapy affects people differently depending on depending on what strength and and all that stuff. Right, hold on, I'm going to flip. Going to flip the work. See, this is new. What you don't know is I have a new stand that we're using this evening. And yeah, it's where I'm I'm still learning how to play with it. So let's let's see what happens when I flip it over. Oh, look at that. It flips. I can get to the back. We don't have to finish on the front. Although, conversation starter. I was on a Zoom and we was having a discussion about um, starting and finishing on the front of your work. And I always do a loop start. When I'm working with two strands, I always do a loop strand with two strands to start the thread. But they were saying about doing a loop start or loop finish on the front, which I quite like the idea of. So my question to you is, how many of you start and finish your threads on the front of your work? Or, or do you all finish on the back? Just curious. Curious to know how many of us do the, the whole don't bother turning it over and come up with an alternative solution. Charlotte says, send alcohol, just tidied some toys away, turned to have some coffee and the kids have tipped the toys back out. Well, Charlotte, you want to try having the, the girls? Literally, I can't even get all of the toys into the basket because as quickly as I put them in the basket, the girls pull them back out again. Finish on the back. Hi, Teresa. Finally found you. New to, new to you. Oh, welcome to the stream, Naomi. Finish on the back. Finish on the back. Back for me. Wow, it's moving fast now. I finish always on the back. Finish in the back. I don't turn over large projects like Chatelaine's. I start and finish on the front. So there's quite a lot of you that still actually flip your work and work and do the finishing on the back. I start and finish on the front. I start with a loop on the front and finish on the back. I like that I can finish on the front, but I think my work is more neat finishing on the back. I'm a back starter and finisher, but open to learning something new. Charlotte says back for me too, but it's easier for me as stitch in hand. Ah, yeah, see, um, that, that will never happen. There is no way I will ever be um, stitching in hand. I just can't do it. I have tried. I'm not very good at it. Kerry, I sometimes start with the loop method on the front, but always, but not always. I can't flip, so I start and finish on the front. Sparkle stitch up. So if you all finish on, if you all start, I mean, obviously starting on the front with two strands, not a problem. And to be honest, starting on the front with one strand isn't a problem. 
but what about how you actually finish on the front so do you finish on the front um where you like leave a towel up and then you stitch over it and then cut the towel off or do you actually finish the stitch within your stitches curious very curious as to how you do it how do you do yours currently currently whip finish on back but huge hide is a front finish so start and finish on the back start and finish on the back with two strands Always on the front, but mix it up between loop and pin stitch. So when you mix it up, Danny, for loop start or loop finish and pin stitch, is that, do you use the loop if you're using two strands and the pin stitch if you're using one strand? Stacy says, start and finish on back. We'll be popping in and out. Hubby's birthday, so kids are here. Youngest looking at me. <laughs> well, happy birthday to Stacey's, Stacey's husband. Hi, Nora. Welcome to the stream. New to your channel. I have enjoyed your older videos. I know. I don't. I've, I've, I've been a bit lapsed with my videos, haven't I? This the last year or so. But I, I used to do a lot more videos, whereas now. Now I do a lot more lives on a Sunday and therefore I get less videos up because normally I would record and upload and do all my do all my stuff on my videos. I would normally do that on the weekend, but because I know I'm going on a live most Sundays, yeah, it's it's about sort of finding the happy balance. Loop start on the front, pin stitch to to finish on front again. Oh, Sandy, you do a pin stitch to, to finish on the front. Multi says, coming up the 19th of February to look after mum while my sister and niece are in Oz for my nephew's birthday. Wedding, sorry. Mum is 92 this year, lives on her own still. It's just for sister's peace of mind. Oh, Multi, the 19th of February is when I fly out to the Dominican. I'm gutted. If I'd have known, I could have swung by, couldn't I? Come and said hello. Now I have to look up how to finish in the front. Sounds wrong, doesn't it? Just me. <laughs> <laughs> I've never finished with a loop on the front, but I'm going to try it. I hate flipping my work over. So I know that there's a different there's there's different ways that you can actually do it. Um I have been known to finish on the front. But I still have a tendency that I like to thrip it over. Hi, Ellie, my lovely. So Ellie is actually the one that I was having the discussion with about the loop, about the finishing on the front. So she says loop start and finish on the front, both with one or two strands. <laughs> June says, I'm a flipper. I'm a flipper. I think I'm a flipper. I do a front pin stitch finish when using one strand multi yes my lovely i'm sorry i'm sorry well i'm sure there'll be if if mum lives so close by to me i'm sure there will be other occasions that you'll be you'll be coming our way let me stick that under see i'm let's put that up there out of the way where you can't see it I use a lot of Karen's tutorials for start and finishing, and I prefer the front only. Lorraine says, what stand are you using? So I have got um, the Omnic Manta stand, like the desk stand. The only snag, well, I say snag, it's not a snag. I have to adjust it. I have to make changes to how it all fits together when I do the lives, because when I have it set the way it's supposed to be with the two different anglers so that it angles in two different directions, um, I'm so far away from the table and the microphone and all of the IT kit that it's it, it doesn't work so well. So yeah, Hubby's sort of made some adjustments to it and took one of the took one of the the big angle things off so that I'm closer to the desk. 
I did a project that had a lot of random white single stitches as snow in the sky. I pin stitched, started and ended each one from the front. Sparkle Stitcher says, On one I pin stitch finish as close to my stitch as possible. On the other, I drag my thread a square and a half over, come, come up, go down three threads over, and back up one thread over and leave a and that's all it says hmm i'm not sure i'm following that one sorry <laughs> i'm trying i'm trying here i'm trying to visualize that in my head how do you start and finish on the front and it looks it looks neat so when i finish on my front i probably do it different to most people but i think again see this whole starting and finishing your threads on the front is a personal preference thing if you watch how people do it everyone does it a bit different so when i'm doing my my loop style on the front it's no different to anybody else's but when you start looking at doing the pin stitch or the the stitch sort of the finishing on the back sorry when you when you're talking about finishing the thread on the front when i watch lots of different people doing it they all do it differently and they've all got various techniques of how they do it. Trees are working from paper pattern. Joyce, what has the world come to, right? <laughs> it's not out of choice. It's just that because, because I'm so far away from the desk. And yes, I've got a clamp. I could actually clamp my iPad. In fact, I didn't think about that. I have got one of those iPad holders that I could clamp onto the desk. But... Yeah, that would require for me to be organized. And unfortunately, this little chicken is not as organized as she would like to be. So because of that, it's just easier for me to have a bit of paper that's right here on the stitching and, and mark it all off. But now that you've said that, see, now you've sown a seed in my head now, Joyce. Because I hadn't actually thought about the fact that I've got one of those iPad clamp things that I, I clamped to my stand out in the living room and there is absolutely no reason whatsoever why I couldn't and shouldn't clamp it onto the table here and that way at least I can blow the chart up so that I can see what I'm doing because that's one thing I'll say about the paper the paper charts you've got to have some good eyesight for that right has anyone tried the new Gus Creations table stand? Do you know, I looked at the Gus Creations floor stand. I'm still quite intrigued, I'll be honest. But then I say that, but then I'm also extremely intrigued by the Omanique. I really like the idea of the Omanique floor stand. Because the one thing that I love about this this stand that I'm using at the moment, this 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 Omanique Mantis desk stand, is that I can turn my work over, which I can't do on the Lowry because it smacks my my stitching smacks into the table because of the way that I have to have this set up. And in the living room, it would be it would be quite nice. It never was a problem before, but now I've got the girls. It would be a lot easier to just be able to flip my work over on a rather than heave it up and over it's strange how the sort of the way we do things changes i mean well mine does i have loads of changes i watched caterpillar cross stitch do some finishes great keep the frog in the uk no risk for me hate the frog <laughs> Oh no, Mary, is the frog in Bristol? What have you done, sweetie? What's happened? Bye now, talk to you later on See the Stream OK. Joni. Bye. Have a lovely evening, afternoon, morning, depending on where in the world you are. I can't remember. I'm ordering it on the 8th of February. What one are you ordering on the 8th of February? I'm struggling to keep up with this chat, sorry. Maguire and Charts. 
The symbols are so small. Yeah, I well, they're small, but no smaller than any other. But because it's on the paper copy, I'm I'm struggling. I struggle to read it. So Southern Stitcher says, I have the Gus Creations Deluxe Floor Stand. Got it for Christmas and love it. Yeah, see, I did look at that one. But I think Southern Stitcher, isn't that you still have to lift the frames and turn them yourself? They don't sort of swivel round on a... Like this does. It doesn't just sort of like swing round in place where you can just rotate it round, does it? Crafting with Natalia... They're working on either one of your squirrels. So Mary said, I can't count. Oh no, Mary. Trish says, I have the Omnique floor stand. It's fabulous and so solid. No wobbles at all. See, yeah, that's what I like the sound of. So Donna, you've got the Gus Creation stand. How do you like yours? How long did you have to wait for order for order delivery, Teresa? Um... Not that long, to be honest. Um, I'm trying to think. I think it was. I think it was about a two or three week turnaround. Southern City, yes, you lift and turn. Yeah, see, that's what I'm trying to get away from the whole lifting and turning. I want it to just sort of rotate round on its on its axis, if you like. It is similar to the needle need stand in in that way. Yeah. Sharon says, I love my Hope lap stand and can flip or change projects so easily. Hope lap stand. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one. I think that one might be new to me. But where are we at? See, now I've run out of I've run out of places that I've already got stitches. So this could get more interesting now because now I've got to count, chat and and stitch. So Melanie said, I got a just a thought floor stand years ago and love it i don't think they make them anymore i don't think i've seen that one not advertised anyway right where are we at so i want two Rhonda says i used to be a back starter and finisher but now i'm a front starter and finisher it is way easier and faster Yeah, see, the whole not having to flip your work does... It is a bit of a game changer. And I think then that decides or that that has a big decision base on on what sort of stand you use. If like if, if Obviously, not including the people that stitch in hand because it's just super easy for them. But for those of us that use some sort of tool to hold our projects, I think... I think whatever product we've got then dictates how we stitch if you see what I mean well it does for me I find that depending on what I'm stitching I mean I wouldn't even say it's the project that I'm stitching on because that doesn't seem to make any difference whatsoever it's more about whatever is holding my stitching will then be the de deciding factor as to how I then stitch on it Teresa, you need to design a rotating stand that takes a Q-snap. You'll make a fortune. Well, funny you should say that. This one does exactly that. So this is the Omnique Mantis stand, like death stand. And as well as as well as the the side connectors that hold the quantum frames, they also do Q-snap versions. So this is glorious because it holds it holds Q snaps and it holds the frames. And if I bite the bullet when it becomes available and get myself one of the um, floor stands, then that just that just opens everything up because then I can either use Q snaps on it or I can use quantum frames on it. The fact that the Q snap holders. A slightly circular means that because I also have the um, the manelium, the needle needs frames, I'm going to check because I wouldn't like to give you duff information, but I'm pretty sure that the Q-snap holders will hold the circular stretches of my needle needs. At least that's my, that's my thought. I mean, 
someone that has one of these might be able to tell be able to tell us on the chat but i'm rather hoping that that's the case they were a stand made for a while in the states not made anymore i didn't think they were no hey tina my lovely welcome to the stream how are you so jess says i use i love my lowry stand worth the investment the problem with the lowry is it only holds it on one side and most of my projects get quite heavy because they're on their frames and because i i don't just use q snaps i need something that something that holds both sides so that it's easier for when i flip it or turn it Rose says, my daughter bought me Edmund's stand. I'm fixing it. One pole was cracked and it's a bit rough. Picked up glue clamps and sandpaper, so I might as well stain it too. Hmm. Edmund's stand? I don't think I've seen that one. Doreen, Gus has a table stand with a clamp which rotates. The clamp can also attach to the floor stand. Oh, Doreen, now you're going to send me down a rabbit hole. I'm going to have to go and look at Gus Creates, right? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I need to go, I need to go shopping. <laughs> Do I need to go shopping? Hold up. See, now, if I was using my iPad now, I wouldn't have such a problem doing this, would I? Because I'd be able to see what I'm doing. And at the moment, I can't see what I'm doing because the chart is so small. I had the right idea, Joyce. I think next time I'm going to try to use my iPad so that I can see my stitches closer to me. Have you looked at the Mark II floor stand? The Mark II. Um, Mary, the Mark II, is that what you've got? The Mark II stands? So Mary says, the Mark II is fabulous, but the shipping to the UK is the same as the stand. What, so you end up paying whatever the cost of the frame is, and then it's the shipping all over again? Yeah, that, that that's a bit expensive. Donna says, I use my needle needs scroll on my Lowry stand. How do you... Oh yeah, no, you can, you can, you can do the needle needs on the Lowry. I think I used to do that, but don't you find that it sort of it it bounces where it's sort of that it's quite heavy. The Gus Creation Stand is amazing to me because of its positionability and it's sturdy. I don't need weights even with large frames. Yeah, see, the needle need stand is the same, but the problem for me is I find the needle need stand is a little bit too wobbly. I have tried tightening up all the bits and pieces on it because I was thinking, well, maybe, maybe it's just sort of started to come loose. But when I try and do sort of like overhead camera shots where I'm sort of trying to record, it wobbles around like you wouldn't believe. I mean, that's one of the reasons that I don't, I don't record any of the overhead stitching now unless i'm in here because whenever i stitch on it the whole thing is just constantly shifting which it never used to do daylight floor stand and now have the lowry love them both hi jennifer welcome to the stream do you know what i need to move that camera because that camera is really annoying me now because it keeps moving let me just i'm gonna make you a bit seasick so yeah look the other way I think it's because the cable is pulling it. There we go. How's that? Is that better? Sandy says, I've got a system four stand. It's American. You can use it as a floor stand or on a desk. Twisted Stitcher has a review of it. Oh, I'll have to have a little look at that. <laughs> Another advantage of hand stitching, way cheaper. You're not wrong there. You're not wrong. But I think I would get, I mean, the beauty of having having sort of a setup where you do have a stand is in the summer months, we don't have to worry about it bellowing all over us. 
Okay, hold on. Let me just... Right, I just need to confirm where we are. Because I'm stitching away here. And I don't want the frog coming to visit me. I gave up with the Lowry and needle need frames. Too heavy. I love my needle need stand. And the way I stitch, I keep my feet on the base to stop the wobbling. Hmm. Mary said, my grand left me a small inheritance and I spent it on those. The company are so lovely too. Do you know what? I think sometimes the investments that we make, as long as we've got either the space and the room, because one thing with the stands is they do take up space. And if you're one of those people that, you know, you only stitch in like a stitching room, it's fine. But some of them... It's like Darren always sort of says, oh, the living room, with your stand in here, the living room always looks messy. And he's sort of right because, it, yeah. By the time I've got the stand and then I've got the stitching and then I've got like the, the light that I have, like my, my daylight lamp and then I've got my iPad holder and yeah, by the time I've sort of got my, my stuff everywhere, Darren's like, it just looks like a mess, Teresa. <laughs> Two-handed the stitching is the best for me. And yes, summertime, it's nice not to have anything on you to have to hold. Did you have to pay import charge? What, for this stand? For this desk stand? Yes. Rather a lot, let me tell you. But I don't, I don't mind. If I, if I know that the, the cost is coming, then I, I don't have a problem with that. And I think, to be honest, I mean, see, this is it. We're all sitting here debating about the cost. And yes, there is the cost element. But once you have a stand that's right for you and you have the stand that's going to do the job exactly as you want it, it is like the best investment ever. Like the best investment. I have different sizes but the 36 inches very sturdy with an adapter i'll send you a picture in messenger let's have a look she has sent us a picture in messenger oh yeah do you know what donna i've got one of those adapters for the lowry but I'll be honest, I've, ne I've, I've only ever put it onto the desk clamp, which, with the corner. I haven't actually put it on a Lowry stand. Maybe I should try that in the living room. I need to find something. But I mean, I'm still, <laughs> I mean, I'm sitting here saying that, but I'm still really, really, really considering that the Omanique floor stand is my best option. Because it will, it will do lots of things. If you know what I mean. Crafting with Natalia. I live in a tiny rented flat. No room for a stand, unfortunately. I'm already struggling to organise all my crafting things and not take up the whole living room. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is the problem that we are faced with. It is a space thing, I think. If you don't mind me asking, roughly how much? Because I'm looking at one. So, what the the mantis the mantis stand? I think was two hundred and oh, was it two hundred and I can't remember if it was a hundred and a hundred and eighty euro things. I think it's euros. I think it was a hundred and eighty euros. But then I got the attachments as well. So, yeah, it wasn't cheap. And then I had to pay uh, the import charge, I think was, I think the import charge was about 50, 56 pounds, I think I paid import charge. Jennifer says, how are the girls love seeing and hearing about what they're into? Um, yeah, the girls, the girls have, have been, um, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the girls the girls uh well we had a little situation last week because lauren went out for the first time through the day whilst i wasn't here and the girls were left to their own devices 
And when I came in from work, I know it was bonbons. It wasn't honey. Bonbons, um, obviously she must have seen a spider or something by the window where we've got like in our porch, because we've got tiles throughout. And then in our porch area, we've got like a, like a it's a carpet, but it's, it's, a, it's a hard wearable carpet for just like, you know, when you come in with your shoes and you kick your shoes off. Well, where there's a window, I think she must have seen, I think she must have seen a spider or a fly or something. And she started digging and then she, yeah, she destroyed the corner of the carpet, I'll be honest. So it's all frayed and there was bits of carpet everywhere. So she got, she got severely reprimanded that day because that's the sort of thing that she does. And she is a bit of a digger anyway. It is, it is, it's definitely a bonbons thing. She does, loves to dig. So I don't think it was honey. But then bonbons um, went into season two days ago. So at the moment, she's running around in her, in her pretty pants. So she's got pants with, pants with, uh, with frills on. Just to jazz it up a little bit. Maybe if she's hanging around later, before we go off stream, I'll get her and I can show you the fluffy pants. I say fluffy pants, her, her frilly pants that we've got her in. But yeah, she's been a little bit clingy, lover, because yeah. Time of the month for the bonbons. Philippa, sorry I'm late. Arsenal playing, so dinner had to wait. All done, washed up and ready for stitching time. <laughs> how did the Arsenal match go? You need to let me know. how Because my mum was probably watching that, in all fairness. I love my Larry, but I stitch at a desk. I also weight, weight the foot so it's not tippy. Hmm. I used to, I mean, I used to, I used to have the Larry and I've still got it. It's up in, it's up in my sort of loft space that I've got. Maybe I should try and bring it back down and, I don't know, try working with it in the living room. Charlotte says, my darling Rocky is sulking because he's been told off for going toilet on the living room floor carpet. <gasps> he didn't, did he? Naughty Rocky. Naughty, naughty. Luckily for me, the girls have got out of that. It's not something that I have to worry too much about now. She says, famous last words, you watch. So I bet something happens this week now because I've said that. I think I just jinxed myself. Hey, Miss Jensen. I have my stitching spot in the living room and a spinning wheel and a knitting box. So I take up a bit of a bit of space, but my hubby loves it. I mean, don't get me wrong. My husband, he doesn't. He's, he's, he doesn't have a go at me, but he just sort of says, oh, God, look at all your stuff. He's, he's everywhere. He's right. It is like my, my whole stitching stuff is just taking over the living room. Hey, Teresa and gang, just joining to have a question. Looking for your floss tags, the plastic ones. Can you tell me again where to get those? Um, do you mean, Kimberly, do you mean these ones? These floss tags. Is that what you mean? Or do you mean the Annie's Keepers? Life of a King Charles Spaniel Mummy is hard. Ah, it's not that hard. Philippa says 3 2 to Arsenal. Yay. Hannah. My husband makes my Q-snaps from PVC pipe from the lumber yard. He has made some of that. Oh, he's made some that are a lap stand too. Love them. Got a Lowry for Christmas. Love it. I recently bought the System 4. Right, so Kimberly, Yes, ma'am, she says. So we're talking about these ones. So these ones are the Pip and Chip. And they do... Floss chips, which are these. And then she does a floss bobbins as well. But the company you look up is Pip and Chip. As in P-I-P and Chip. Love them. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. But then I, I love my Annie's Keepers as well. So I, I, I have an array of them all going on right now. Oh, I nearly put that in the, in the shot then. Did you see that? I wasn't exactly fast of lightning, was I? Hold on, where are we at? One, two, three, four. 
Four. This is why I need <laughs> my electronic device because it would be so much easier to do this. Hi Jonah, bye now. Talk to you when you are on the next stream. I still watch your online videos and I try to do online. Good stuff. Have a lovely evening. My dog has a haircut from the groomer yesterday and hasn't moved from under the blanket yet. Oh no. Did not like his um he didn't like his his pamper experience. Not all of them do. Right, one. That's two. So very happy you came on today. <laughs> oh, Brenda, my lovely. You're a sweetie. You know when it's you know when you're sort of sitting there thinking, well, if I've got three weeks worth of three weeks worth of of working four day weeks and then I'm gonna be going on holiday, I was like, Yeah, I won't get to talk to anyone. And I quite like these lives because it is about the only time that I actually sit down for the whole hour and a half or two hours and actually just sit and stitch even though i know i don't get as much stitching done as most people because i'm talking and i spend a lot of time looking at the chat and not actually stitching but yeah but i don't think there will be one next week in fact i think i can honestly say there definitely won't be a live stream next week because next week next weekend will be my monthly update video and it always takes me so long to record those and to do all the editing and get them uploaded that, yeah, I think I think there won't be a live next week. So I thought, you know, if I do one earlier this week, then at least I've done one. I held back from using an app for so long. Now that I have markup, I wonder what the hell I was thinking for staying with the paper pattern. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah see good notes for me was like the the deal breaker and then pattern keeper came out and then that was a deal breaker um i'm i'm a, i've got mixed emotions with markup but i don't think that it's that i don't like markup let's not get this the wrong way i just don't think i've had enough time of actually i just don't think i've had enough time to actually use it and then see what I think of it. I think I think it's like because it's a, it's learning a new application, and how it does what it does. I think I think I need to work with it, but I just haven't had the time. In all fairness, love Pip and Chip bought the bobbins from my daughter along with the cabinet. I'm buying myself a set next. Yeah, it is. I mean, I I love my Pip and Chips, but I'm loving the thread drops. I I love that versus the the bobbins. Text Darren and ask for the iPad. Melinda, if for one minute I thought Dave, Darren would have the wherewithal to know exactly what I need to do it, I would do that. But he'll end up coming in with just the iPad and, and not, the, not the, the holder. And then he'll probably forget the, I, the Apple pen. And yeah, it's harder. For, for today, I'll just stick with my little scrap of paper here. I've I've done it this long. I'm sure one more one more week won't won't kill me, will it? So which how many of you are like device users and how many are still paper? Cuz I mean the beauty of paper, I mean so when I'm on the train and I'm doing my train stitching, paper makes total sense because I can't be trudging around another cuz by the time I've got my stitching and I've got all my work stuff in my bag, if I was then to put an iPad or an Android in there, it would just be so heavy. I'd need like a suitcase, a wheelie, a wheelie suitcase just to go to work. So paper makes total sense when I'm on the move. But when I'm sitting here, yeah. And now that I've got this different setup and I have sort of think I've sussed it, I think. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think this new setup is a good setup? Hopefully I've got the camera right and I've got the microphone right because... There was a few videos where it was either the, the microphone worked 
fine and the camera was a bit dodgy or the camera was a bit dodgy and the microphone was i was just like really can it not just work and then there was the occasion where i tried to use my android to use pattern keeper so that i could show you the pattern as i was marking it off and that was a total disaster video i can't remember which one it was but that was alive and that that didn't go very well Teresa, you are a total neighbour. It's down to you and my Pip and Chip floss tags arrived this week. June, fabulous. I'm so pleased. So the setup works. Paper for me. See, there's still a lot of you that still work with paper. And then Susie. So, hi, Susie, my love. She says, both at the moment, paper as I'm watching you on my iPad. Yeah, see, then there, there's an example of, of why you would need to use paper. I'm paper, I just can't get away with devices. I'm old paper. <laughs> See, I must admit, if I'm... So if I'm watching Floss Tube and I'm in the living room, it's fine because it's on. The, I have whatever I'm watching on the TV and then I can still use my device. But in the situation where you use your device to watch, say, this and your chart, I mean, you can bring two pictures, like you can split the screen, can't you? That's the beauty of the of the apples now that there is an option that you can do the split screen um but even with the split screen i think the problem is i i would struggle to be able to see enough of the chart and, and have the two things on the same on the same device but i'm saying that i haven't actually tried it i might have to try that paper because i don't have an ipad Pattern Keeper spoiled me, always electronic, yeah. Device for me, good notes. I'm a, I love my good notes. When I'm on the move, I use my phone, an 8-inch Q-snap. Yes, people, I have a car project that I leave in the car. See, that is a great idea. But that's like me and my train project. I always have a train project in my bag. Isabella... I use paper. It's hard for me to use digital because I already do computer work all day. So some paper is nice. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I spend a lot of time on computers, but I still find that... I think the bit I like about having the device versus the paper is that if my eyes are really tired, I can blow that chart up as big as I want it, which makes it so that it's actually easier for me. And I, get, I sometimes... Like on some of these charts where the, the symbols are are so small, I get lost. I get lost as to where I am on my own on my own bit of paper. Paper, however, I use an app to keep track of projects and threads. Tina says, "How do you split the screen on Apple?" Going to have to Google that feature. Tina, if I get a chance, it won't be this week, sweetie. But if you don't find it, um, maybe I'll do a video like a quick one where I just sort of show how I do a split screen so I can have like YouTube running in one one half and my good notes on the other half. For those that are using Pattern Keeper, Pattern Keeper's on Android only anyway, in which case I have an Android running and then I have my iPad running. Too much device time sets my migraines and vertigo off, so I have to limit it. Paper means I can stitch longer and don't have to stop through feeling rough. There is that. I mean, I'm lucky. I've never really suffered with migraines or vertigo and devices don't seem to set it off. If it did, I'd have a hell of a job with my job, wouldn't I? My Kindle ran out of battery yesterday, dog sitting. And so I switched to the Pattern Keeper app on my phone and stitched from that instead. Yeah, see, there, there are some real good reasons why. I mean, if you've got paper, you don't ever have to worry about power. There is that. Because that has happened to me where I've gone to use something thinking it's going to be fine and then I either can't put it on charge or I haven't got a charging cable and then if it runs out of power, you can't use it. You don't have that problem with paper, do you? But if you lose the bit of paper that you marked up, then that's its own problem. This is it. It swings and roundabouts, I think. May take chart, have it blown up. Is Pattern Keeper available on iPad? Sharon, no. Pattern Keeper is not available on iPad. It's only available on Android. 
but there is markup. So if if you would like, if you don't have an Android and you do have an Apple, I mean, I personally use Good Notes, but that's because that's what I know. Um, but like I said, there is another one called Markup. I think it's Markup. Is it Markup XP? Markup something. And that one runs on Apple device. Um, and there's quite a lot of people that that really do quite like it. So that may be an alternative option to Pattern Keeper. It sort of works in the same way, I believe. I use Pattern Keeper for Hades and Paper, Mirabilia and others. I was... I was tied to a computer. <laughs> I was tied to a computer since 1979. I'm retired and don't have a computer. My phone is enough. <laughs> uh, I need to figure out how to load my paper charts into Pattern Keeper. Um, Brandy, if it's... I know that people do do it. I, I, I've never tried it. And because... Because I know that people sort of say it's not necessarily straightforward. It's not like just downloading... A PDF into it um, I just use good notes and that way you can just use a copy that like print copy yeah so it's called there is the other application for for Apple users and it's called markup R dash XP I know that I think Karen you did a review on it didn't you so I'm just thinking I think Karen done a review video. So if you're interested, if you're an Apple user and you quite like the idea of having something where you can actually put the PDF in and use it similar in, in the similar way that you would with the, with the Pattern Keeper, um, you might want to go and head on over to Karen's Karen's Floss Tube, the needle bug, um, and go and look at her review because I know I know she uses it and I think she quite likes it. So Karen says, yeah, putting a pattern into Pattern Keeper is a bit fiddly. Um, and yes, she's got a review on her channel of the Markup XP. So if you're interested to find out about the Markup XP, then definitely go over and head over to Karen's, Karen's channel. Brenda says, do you pay for good notes? No, I don't. I think you pay... Uh, well, actually, that's not strictly true. I think for good notes... I think you pay like two pounds, two pounds or five pounds, and that's it. It's like a lifetime thing. You just pay one one charge for it. It used to be that they they used to have Good Notes four, which was free. Then they bought out Good Notes five, discontinued Good Notes four, and then I think they made Good Notes five chargeable for a one single fee. Catherine says, I just saved the charts in books on my iPad. I can expand beautifully and mark complete stitches off as well. It is free and already available. That's a good shout. I've not tried that one. Right, where are we at, people? Where, where have I got to? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Where did we get to? One, two, three, four, five. That can't be right, is it? Two, three, four, five. Yes, that is right. Good evening, Sandra. Welcome to the stream. Emma said, I prefer paper. I'm not a techie person. I get all mixed up. Yeah, I'm, I must admit, I mean, the tech isn't for everybody. And I mean, there are... There are swings and roundabouts to whether having having a device to work from versus having a paper copy. I mean, I sit there and think of all the all the upsides to having electronic devices personally, because that's that's my go to and that's what I prefer. However, I say that until something like I forgot to charge my iPad or I forgot to charge the Android, and then I sit there and think Oh, I'll go and work on a full coverage. And I'll put it all out. I'll get all the all the project out. I'll put it on the frame. I'll set the Android up. I'll sit my butt down on the chair and then realize that the Android's run out of charge. And then I'm like, because with the Android, if it goes to the, it's, the battery's flat, 
it takes a good 15, 20 minutes for the battery to charge enough to then be able to run the application. And yeah, that, that is a bit annoying. And at that point, you're sitting there thinking, if I had a paper chart, I wouldn't have this problem. But then I'm not sure that I would want a big full coverage of nothing but paper. Because, yeah. I mean, one bit of paper, especially especially how slow I stitch, because if I'm working off of a off of a bit of paper that I'm marking off, I mean my my equivalent of page finishes are really quite poor, and I like diagonal stitching. So having the diagonal stitching, um, I go across pages, which uh, arguably I suppose that if you if you weren't using pattern keep up, you wouldn't do that. You would like work in page finishes. Um, yeah. It's, the more you think about it, the more you realise that the way you stitch is very, very, very based on what you do and how you do it. If you see what I mean. Karen says, for your information, markup is both iOS and Android. My experience is it's much better on the iPad. It is mad for iOS. Oh, it is made for iOS. Oh, there you go. Sorry, my my bad. Hi, Paula, my lovely. Welcome to the stream. Oh no, she's currently frogging the mistake I made last last night on Mayari from Bella Filipina. Oh, that's not good. Jen says pattern keeper is a lifesaver for full coverage. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely a pattern keeper chick myself. Can you imagine taping a paper chart of a hay together? Yikes. <laughs> oh, they were the days, right? They were the days before we knew anything better. Kerry says, I prefer a paper chart. I'm old school. Nothing wrong with that. Karen, is, is it easier to change pages electronically than paper? Is it easier to change pages? When you say change pages, do you mean go across pages rather than just do a whole full page finish and then move to another page? I'm a bit confused by what the question is, sweets. Threadbear also have an app for Apple. <laughs> Doreen says, my tablets are always on charge, even when I'm stitching. That is something that I do, but because... Mm, see, this is where, this is where, like, you know when you have to explain yourself. So... I'm privileged in the fact that I have an iPad, but I also have an Android. So, because of that, my Android basically is has only been purchased just for Pattern Keeper. No other reason. I had no other reason to use it. It was literally Pattern Keeper was for my Android. Everything else is for the iPad. Good Notes is also for my iPad. So this is where the problem comes in so if i'm say stitching on greta goldbrum as example because she's out on my stand at the moment i needed to stitch something halloweeny or autumn so she's getting a bit of touch and a bit of love at the moment um and she is because it's a bella filipina chart which are printed on a4 paper i basically scanned it in on my scanner and that is loaded into good notes so that is on my ios device on my apple so i don't need to worry because i've always got my ipad on charge because i tend to take my ipad upstairs and if i'm going to watch youtube whilst i'm getting ready for work in the morning or you know darren's asleep in bed and i'm putting my makeup on then i i'll have my my ipad with me at all times so that's normally charged so i don't really worry too much about the ipad ever running out of charge but because the Android only gets used when I'm stitching on a full coverage, the problem I have is if I've switched out a project and I'm not working on a full coverage downstairs, I wouldn't have put it on charge. So then the next thing I know is I haven't put it on charge and all of a sudden I think to myself, oh, I'm going to go and stitch on a full coverage. And then I turn it on or I try to turn it on and it won't turn on because it's the battery is flat it's run out of charge so when i think of it like that it's like the android tends to be the one that's a bit hit and miss but i think that's only because i only use it for my full coverage pieces and i'm not always working on full coverage 
like I used to. I used to always be working on a full coverage. I'm thinking of buying an Android just for Pattern Keeper. I use my iPad to watch Floss Tube while stitching. Yeah, see, if I'm just going to sit and watch Floss Tube or, or anything like that, I just automatically go to the iPad because it's just easier. But when I'm in my living room or I'm doing stitching, I always put whatever I'm watching on the telly. So I don't need my iPad at that point. You've got to try markup XP Treza. They just updated it and it is and its ability to load Hade is so so good. Then you'll always be on the iPad. Hmm. Yeah, but how do I right, okay, so you're talking about the R XP markup. Now, given that most of the projects that I'm currently working on are on Pattern Keeper and have already been marked off. So how would I get how would I get the files off a of pattern keeper? Or how would I, how if I was to load up mark up XP with the same charts to be able to flip over and start using them on the iPad. The problem is is would I have to sit there and painstakingly go through and remark off all of the stitches that I've already marked off in pattern keeper. Do you see what I mean? Not sure if anyone else has mentioned it because I came in very late. But I use Knit Companion on iPad. They have a whole tutorial on their website on how to use the program for cross stitch. Well, I didn't know that. Battery backup works well and mine includes solar charge. So I keep it in my bag by my lamp or window. Never loses power. Look for those with also solar for second form of charge. Mm, hadn't thought of that either. You cannot transfer. You would have to remark the chart in markup. Oh, see, this is, I think this is where the problem comes in. It's a bit like, <laughs> I've got to say that when we start talking about changing our applications that we use and changing the devices that we use, it's a bit like all of a sudden someone saying, I don't like to bobinate anymore and I want everything on a thread drop because yeah look at the look at the mess I'm in now because of that <laughs> I've got like half of my DMC range that's in the thread drops over here and the other half on DMC uh on bobbins over here um and it's a work in progress to get it to get it over so again given that I'm against the clock for time and I don't I don't really have spare time I guess the reality of that is any big change that I'm going to make is going to have a, an impact on my stitching time because the time that I would be stitching, I would now have to be spending on converting. I think this is why I keep going now, I won't bother. So Mad Multi says, save your progress to Google Drive and import progress between devices maybe. Multi, I don't think you can. I think what what Karen was saying is it, it, there isn't that option. They don't. They're not compatible. I believe you can mark up whole pages in one go. There is a button available in the tool section. I think Karen said you can mark a whole page at a time, or ten by ten squares, which makes it a bit easier. Well, I suppose that is easier. But then if I've got five, five or six different projects. On pattern keeper that I'm then going to switch over to to the RXP that leaves the pages that are not finished does pattern keeper have the export option that takes all your progress with it apparently not Melinda not not to not to then be able to use that that export file to put into the um markup <laughs> Karen said I'll mark them for you you would do that for me you are an angel aren't you sitting there marking up all of my hold on I'll just need to um... where am I see this is why I need an electronic device because I can't count one two three four five hold up one, two, three, four, five. So three more. One, two, 
Is that right? Hold on. Hang on, because I don't want the frog to come and visit me. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute. <laughs> Let Teresa count out loud like a child. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm with it now. Sorry about that. That that took that that was harder than it needed to be. It sounds like you need a new start to try a, a new app. Karen! <laughs> trust me. Trust me when I say this, I don't need a new start. Because Oh, should I, should I, should I, should I say something now? See, I didn't want to do this because I don't want to, I don't want to bring it up on the stream again because I don't, I don't want to be accused of sending everyone down a rabbit hole, see, is the problem. So I guess the question is, how many of you would like to know about a possible another rabbit hole for those that don't already know what I'm about to say? <laughs> <laughs> the fancy duck. <laughs> you have a new start in March, remember? <laughs> yes, we're talking ducks again, people. We are back to the ducks. <laughs> Is it a duck or a horse? <laughs> okay, so for those of you that were on the last few lives you will know that we all got enabled there was there was a whole ton of duck discussion and fancy duck stuff and before you knew it we all fell down this rabbit hole where we all went looking at these ducks some of you have been self-restrained or it just wasn't your cup of tea which is totally fine i personally confess that yeah the duck fell into the basket then it fell into the checkout point. I've already been chucked down a rabbit hole today, so I'm not going down another. Oh, come on, Charlotte. How can you say that? You're like the stitching Trojan. It's not like it's going to take you forever to stitch it. You could get it done like spit spot. Spit spot and it'll be done. <laughs> and the culprit is in the live stream. Mags, you was very, very quiet, wasn't you? You were so, so quiet stalking the stream there. <laughs> she says, I've been so quiet all stream, trying not to take over the stream. This is not my fault. This is all Mags' fault. So, Mags sent us all down the rabbit hole. And yes, I've ended up getting a duck. And... The decision has been made that whilst I was... So whilst I was at my Saturday stitching weekend, there was a whole ton of people that were there and we got into the whole duck thing. And then before you know it, I was like, well, look, you can't all just leave me hanging here. I can't be the only one with a new start. Because I'm going to the March retreat, it's our retreat, the Essex Needles retreat in March. Um, I may have sort of took a few people down with me so ellie ellie welly stitcher she might have fell down the hole with me and she was going well you know but i've got i've got too many things i can't start it now and i was like that's okay just buy it now and we'll have a new start at the march retreat so would you believe it <laughs> and linda says oh for duck's sake <laughs> Would you believe it? I've fell down the rabbit hole with a number of others and there's quite a few people at the stitching retreat or the stitching day that I was at last Saturday. Was it last Saturday? It was. See, time time flies by when you're having fun, doesn't it? Um, so the decision's been made that there's a number of us that are going to start one of the Golden Fitchit Heaven and Earth Design ducks. Thanks, Mags. Your fault. So your fault. Um... And we're going to have a new start at the March retreat. So, yeah. Seems as there is a new start that's coming, then maybe the markup XP might be an option. But I don't know if I want to start a new project and have to learn a new software all at the same time. Is that is that too much? Paula says, well, I went down the rabbit hole. I ordered 
Marshmallow Row by Calico Confectionery. It's it's rabbit peeps. <laughs> oh, at least I know I'm not the only one. My focus is the fancy lady Teresa made me do it. New start. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. But for those of you that also fell down the whole duck rabbit hole, I just wanted to let you know that I'm planning a new start in March whilst I'm at my Essex Needles retreat. And yeah, we're going to start the duck. Brenda's like, funny. <laughs> Duck, duck, go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Bow and wave. <laughs> I'm bowing and waving. <laughs> Joyce says, enabling, still looking at duck walking dogs. See, this is it. This is it. If I'm going down, I'm going to take you all with me. Because it's, it's, it's because I love you all. See? It's only because I love you all. I would hate for you all to miss out on the fun. Silver Stitchy said, we need fancy rabbits. Do we need fancy rabbits? You can have fancy whatever you like in this house. Every Anything goes here. But yeah, so since as, you know, I'm going down the duck hole, shall we say. Since as I'm going down the duck hole with the Gordon Fitchit fancy duck in March, then maybe... Maybe the suggestion of trying this markup XP might be the way to go. I'm just worried that it's just going to be a whole lot of a whole lot of learning a different application. Because when I looked at it at first, I don't think it looked particularly intuitive to me. But I don't know whether that's because I'm so used to good notes and I'm so used to Pattern Keeper that, yeah, I just haven't quite got my head around it. What did Jeanette said? You can put any chart in markup and play around with it and not actually stitch. Every chart I get, I put in Pattern Keeper just to make sure it will work because sometimes you have to import colours and such. I suppose there is that. I could just sort of... I mean, because I've got the Golden Fitchit pattern already, I've already got the download. Maybe I should... Um, Maybe because I, I have got markup. I, I ordered, I paid for markup because I know that it is a, there's a, like a small fee. I think it's a one-off fee that you pay for markup. Um, and I, I did pay for it. But then when I went on to it and had, had a good look around, I was like, oh no, it looks all a bit complicated. So I literally just didn't look at it again. So maybe maybe I need to sort of put Golden Fitcher in there and just play around. Because worst case scenario, if I mess it up, I can just delete it back out, can't I? And then you never know. If I get that stuck, Karen, <laughs> Karen, we might need to go on to a, onto a Zoom call. And you can, you can help me when I get stuck. Mag says, it's not tricky. And since the new update, it's way more user-friendly. I'll talk you through it, though. Thank you, Mags. I think I might need it because when I when I looked, I mean, obviously I looked at it before. Obviously, they've done this update, and I didn't. It just didn't feel intuitive to me, and it, it just felt a bit, yeah. There was just so many buttons and so many things to look at that I was just like, oh no, this is. Even I got a bit overwhelmed, but then I think I only thought that because I'd already, I, I, I was already comfortable with Pattern Keeper. And I'm already I'm already comfortable with with good notes. So you know when you some sort sometimes sit there and think to yourself, why would I want? Why would I want another another application when I've got two applications that work perfectly well? But in saying that, you only actually think that what you've got works exceptionally well until you try something that actually excels and that is much better. Do you see what I mean? Susie says, retreat weekend is my birthday weekend and we'll have a new start, but not the ducks. We'll try and be good. <laughs> I get it, Susie. Ducks are not for everyone. They're not for everyone, but they're definitely for me. I, I love the Golden Fidget duck. Have no idea where I'd hang it. But yeah, I still love the duck. Still love the duck. Right, okay, we're marking. Hold up. Mark, 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 mark. Mark. I can't believe how far we're getting with the stitching. Have you seen how much stitching I've actually managed to do today? 
I'm not normally this good. I'm, I don't normally get this much stitching whilst I'm chatting. We're obviously having having a proper conversation where it's it's in depth. See, <laughs> shouldn't it be going in a puddle rather than going down a rabbit hole? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no need to change a winning concept. There isn't a. There, I mean, I agree with that concept of that. Is is you know you're better to sort of stick with. You know, if you've got a concept that works, why change that? I get that, but. In saying that, sometimes if you never if you never try something different, you don't realise actually there is something else out there that is still better and that you would appreciate. It was a bit like Pattern Keeper. I was I was um late to the party with Pattern Keeper purely because as far as I was concerned, in my mind, I didn't need it. I didn't need Pattern Keeper. Um my good notes worked sufficiently and perfectly well for what I wanted it for. And then one day while I was at, well, that was a retreat as well. So that was when I was at one of the crew retreats and I was there with Miss Mary Perkins and Mags, I do believe. I think they were the ones that, that were encouraging. Um, and because I they showed, I think, I think um, Mary showed it to me on her Android. And I was like, and she was raving about it. Because I think she had, I don't know if it was a pain-free craft chart or a charting creations chart can't remember which one um and when i saw it and i saw it in action you know you're just sitting there thinking hmm, maybe that might be maybe that might be the way to go but then literally i fell down the rabbit hole but because i didn't have an android at the time i had to go and buy an android so then once i once i downloaded pattern keeper then i was like well i have to use it i have to use it now because I've gone and bought an Android especially for it. So I have to use it. So I think in that situation, it sort of forced my hand. But in general, I am very much like, if well, if I've got something that's working, why would I want to fix it, if you see what I mean? But I will be the first one if all of a sudden I try something new and, and it's better once I've got my head around it and I, I sit there and kick myself thinking, why, why did I wait? Why did, why did I sit there thinking to myself, oh no, I'll stick with what I know and what I've got is, is more than, more than enough. But in actual fact, it's only more than enough because that's all I knew. But then it's almost like show someone the way, show, show them the way. <laughs> Mary saying Mags that she's blaming us again. Mary and Mags have a lot to be blamed for. When you go to these retreats, see this, I mean, you, this is the bit that makes me laugh is every time I go to a retreat, everyone sits there and says about things that I enable on this channel, that I'm the enabler. But when I go to my stitching retreats with, with the likes of Mary and Mags, if anyone gets enabled, it's me. I am like, it's so easily enabled. They only have to mention something and, I, and I'm all over it. I want to see. I don't want to get left behind. <laughs> we're lovely we you are lovely they are lovely i absolutely love my retreats with my ladies but i it the difference see this is it i think when you when you sit and watch like floss tube yes you can be enabled but it's so also very easy to just switch it off and not not engage with it because unless you reach out and ask questions and then you get messages back and the likes you can like something, but without sort of, not without being convinced, but without without someone sort of selling it to you. But then, when you go to the retreats and then you're sitting there chatting to someone, and then they they explain to you why they like it, or you know how good it really is, it just makes you want to look more at it. So yeah. Do you know what? I'm just looking at what the time is. We've got ten minutes till I need to call it so i think i need to text aaron and tell him it's bailey's o'clock what do we reckon is it bailey's o'clock people i think it was lucy enabling us all at the retreat <laughs> Catherine, are you stalking this stream this stream as well <laughs> just checked out my duck although not for me we'll see we'll enjoy seeing progress pictures i'm planning on starting mirabilia march aquamarine 
aquamarine fairy. Oh, Naomi, that sounds lovely. We love that you enable us and send us down rabbit holes. Are you sure? Are you sure? Sometimes I sit there and think, people must think that that's all I do, that I sit here and plan what I'm going to say for these live streams just to sort of coerce you all. I really don't. When I go on to these streams, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to talk about. Teresa, keep in mind that we come we come looking for you so that we can be enabled. <laughs> Karen, as long as as long as everyone sees it that way, then we, we, it's all fine. It's all fine. <laughs> you need self control, Sonia. What is that? What what is that? What what self control? I don't know. I don't have any of that. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. I love this one. Almost 55,000 stitches. Yes, at Bailey's added added to my coffee at the moment. Oh, nice. A nice Bailey's coffee, huh? Catherine says, I'm a ninja like Mags. Do you know why? I'm sitting here looking at how many people are on the stream and I'm like, I wonder how many people are on this stream that are just not speaking. They're not saying anything because that's, I mean, I, I'm so, so guilty of that. I sit and stalk people's channels. I watch loads and loads of Flosstube videos and loads and loads of live streams. And most of the time, because I'm watching it on my TV, I don't ever comment. Or the problem is, is I know that if I start commenting then I won't be doing any stitching and it's like my stitching time. <laughs> Mag said non-hugging non -hugging ninjas unite separately. <laughs> so just for the record, for those on this chat that are thinking, what is she talking about? You know when you go to retreats and you get to know people really quite well and you've been doing it for years, so you see the same people over and over again. Our, our retreat at at crew we have we have the huggers and we have the non-huggers there are some people that are just not down with the whole personal space interruption and and there's some that just just love to hug it out see now me and mary perkins so quiet mind stitcher a quiet mind stitches we are huggers we we like we'll hug we'll hug the trees we'll hug the pillars we'll hug the chairs we'll hug the people we'll just hug because we're huggers <laughs> And then you've got the Mags and the Catherines of this world that are so, so not huggers. Everything about a hug is just, they cringe. You can see the awkwardness that creeps over them like instantaneous. <laughs> so on the odd occasion that, you know, I go over and I'm like, please, can we, can we just hug? Can we just, you know, especially like over after the whole COVID lockdown thing, we hadn't seen each other for years rather than just like six months, you know. Mags, surely one little hug. Catherine, one little hug won't hurt, right? As long as I don't squeeze you hard, I'll just do a small hug. Yeah, see, Tracy, Silver Stitches, I'm a hugger. Stacy, I'm a hugger. How many of you are huggers and how many of you are like non-huggers? Please don't end the stream. That means I have to stop stitching and go do laundry. No, you don't. You just pretend that we're still on the stream. That's what you do. Charlotte, gotta love a hug. Well, you know I always come over and hug you. Although I have to be careful in case I don't break you because you're really small. <laughs> I'm a hugger. Love your videos. I'm a hugger. There are loads of huggers. Loads and loads of huggers. That's what I like to hear. Oh, Tina's a hands-off personal space person. And I'm all down with that. I must admit, I do feel for those that, you know, that that are not huggers. Because I can imagine it's it's quite cringeworthy if you're if you're like a personal space person and then you have like an overly excited hugger that wants to come and like bear hug you. That must be really awkward. I do get that. Hugging depends whether I like hold. Oh, Hugging depends whether I like the hug. I love Mags more. <laughs> so much I don't hug her anymore. <laughs> I was wondering when it was going to turn up. Why, thank you, my lovely. Oh, look, Bonbons is here. Who wants to see Bonbons in her, in her frilly pants? Do we want to see Bonbons in her frilly pants? 
Come here, bonbons. Come and show everyone your really adorable frilly pants. Let me... I think I can officially say I've finished stitching. What do we reckon? I, I think we, do, we did well there. Let me, let me move the stitching. I can't move the stitching out of the way. Let me change the screen then. Let's do that. There we go. Let's change the screen. Where's my baby? How we doing, baby? Are you having a hard day? Oh, yes, I've got both babies. Right, so this, this is Honey. Honey's, honey's not on her period, so she's, she's, she's totally fine and just as boisterous as normal. This one, oh, this one's a little sensitive, look. So here she is, my rather needy baby. And she's got, she's got her, her frills on, see? So she's got her frilly knickers on, haven't you? No. Oh. Has it been a hard day, babe? Has it been a hard day? You having a hard day? Huh? You having a hard day? Say hello to everyone. Look, she's like, oh, feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for me because it is a bad day. I'm having a bad day. My mum keeps sticking this silly thing on my bum. Every time I come back in from outside, it goes back on. She absolutely hates it. I mean, don't get me wrong. When it's on, she doesn't seem to care at all. But you can tell, like, when I sort of say to her, come on, as she comes in the door after she's been out to do her business. Um... She goes out there and just runs down the other end of the garden and then licks herself. And then, then she goes to the toilet. And then when she comes back in, literally, I'm st stood there with, <laughs> with the nappy. And she's like, and she sort of like, sort of crouches on the floor. And so like, no, please don't do that. Please don't put that back on me. But yeah. You are right. I know. I know. He's rough, isn't he? Hmm? So that's bonbons. Oh. Honey, do you want to come and say hello? Is Honey coming up? Yes. Oh, come here, big girl. Big girl's fine, though. Look, big girl's, yeah. Say hi. Say hi, honey. Say hi. Hello. Hello, baby. Yes, I know. As you can see, they're, um, yeah. This one's fine, aren't you? You're fine. She wants to get down because the other one's all over the place. There we go. There we go. No, don't start fighting with each other. <laughs> so cute. I'm not a hugger, but if you made me, I'm going to make it a good one. Oh, so you're one of those. You're one of those people that sits there and says, I'm not a hugger. But then actually when we get down to the actual hugging, you hug it out properly, right? Kate says, cabbies are such sweeties, my parents have to. I love my babies. As you can see, they're um they're play fighting now. They love it. <laughs> and even though, I mean, even though um even though like one's in season, that they they just sit and play. And they do this face thing where they talk, pretend they're biting each other's faces. It's it's quite funny to watch. Although you can hear it starting. <laughs> Floppy ears are the best. <laughs> See, now this is what I have. So when I sit there and say to you that back before I had the girls and it was just Fudge, and even Fudge and Chester, they never used to do this. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the noise they're making, but they get really loud, and I have this for sometimes hours. <laughs> Can you wish my mum, Sarah, a happy 60th birthday, please? I sure can. Happy birthday, mum. 60 today. That's what I like to hear. I think we should have some love and claps in the chat and some happy birthdays from, from the people on the live. <laughs> Bitey face game. <laughs> So Cross Stitch Midwife says, I think I'm a very selective hugger because I'm from Yorkshire. Does that mean, does that mean, Lisa, that I get to hug you next time I see you then? Mags, when Teresa comes to hug, it's like a guided missile coming in to explode. <laughs> oh, I'm wounded by that remark. I don't think I'm like a guided missile that comes in. I thought I was, I, Mags, I always thought that I was actually really, really like, Mags, would you mind? No? Yes? You know, I gauge the water. I know how much you hate it. <laughs> mm. 
Danny says, I forgot how much I missed the fur hugs. I lost my baby in April last year. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know the feeling well. But now I have these two that keep me more than occupied. <laughs> I love all the happy birthdays in the chat, peeps. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right, because they're starting to make so much noise and they obviously need to go and burn off some energy. So it may mean that I need to, that I was sitting there thinking that I was going to go and get my stuff ready for work and spend the rest of my evening doing that. I have a sneaky suspicion I'm going to end up spending the rest of my evening playing with these two to try and run them ragged. <laughs> Mag says, the time you run down the corridor, terrifying. <laughs> But Max, I'm only small. <laughs> I'm so jealous of you all in the UK and the USA with all the retreats. Never heard on here. Oh, never heard of any on here in the Netherlands. Well, Lucia, you can always come to the Essex Needles retreat because you could get a flight from the Netherlands straight into Stansted Airport, and we are the, the retreat is at Stansted Airport. Just so that you know, you should look us up. We're on Facebook. The Essex Needles Retreat Facebook group. We can hear the pups and I'm I'm hearing for it. I'm still trying to talk to my other half in a partner in crime for my five year old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they need they need some um, they need to blow off some steam, these two. Well, look, thank you all so, so much for the lovely happy birthdays in the chat to the mum. 60 today. Oh, Susie says there's a Dutch mania in September. Oh, there you go. I'm going to the Essex Needles Retreat in September and I'm from the Netherlands. Oh, yes, Annette. There you go. See, you, could, you can make a new friend. We could have a few of you. From the Netherlands. The more, the merrier. Everybody's welcome. Everybody's welcome at the Essex Needles retreats. Although the March one is full. The September one is full. Um, we've got a day stitching retreat that's just been announced for the 25th of November this year. Um, and the email goes live on Friday morning. This coming Friday morning. So if anyone wants to go to the Essex Needles Retreat Stitch Stitching Day, um, if you join the Facebook group, uh, which is the Essex Needles Facebook group, um, there the, all the details about the Stitching Day at Stansted Airport are on there for November 25th this year. Um, and like I say, we, we haven't actually set the numbers for that yet, so the email will be going live on Friday. So it'll be the first 47 people um, will get a space. So it's a first come, first serve basis. So if you're still if you're still fancying a little bit of retreat time, but you don't want to do a whole weekend, you just do want to do one day, then maybe this might be the one. And the fact that it's at Stansted Airport, if anyone wanted to sort of come from Ireland or just fly in for the day, you can do that. And we do book for like the night before for those that need it, because there are people that still like to travel down and like to have the whole day of not traveling. Um, so there's always that as well. But yeah, I love the retreats. I I have an absolute blast. It's so, so nice. So, so nice. Right, people, we are two minutes past eight. You know, I'm going to turn into a pumpkin if I don't go soon. Um, so like I said, there will not be a live stream next weekend for sure. Because I must do my monthly update video because... I've got so much to share and I know that if I if I end up trying to do that video and do all of that and then editing and then do a live basically the only thing I'll do next week will be videoing and recording yeah and it's yeah we not we don't want to do that so but there will be a video so you'll get a video instead of a live so I'll, I'll, I'll switch one for the other um, fingers crossed I will see you the following week but I'm going to have to see what happens with work but like I say where I can I try and get on on a Sunday if it means that I'm going to be working on the Monday then I'll do what I've done this time and I'll just bring the stream forward by one hour just so that I'm not sort of I'm not too late to bed because 
like I said, I don't I don't survive on a four hour sleep night. So, <laughs> so I hope you've all got loads and loads of stitching done today. And that you get loads and loads of stitching done over the next week or so. I will see you, like I say, not this weekend coming, possibly the weekend after, providing it all goes well. I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful week. And, yeah. I guess the, the next part is until next time, people. Take care of yourselves and thank you for keeping me company. I really, really appreciate you all. So, have a lovely week, everyone. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.